Welcome to habit number eight. Thanks for sticking in there. There's a lot of bit by bits. And if you're getting discouraged and you, and, and you just find that it's just moving too fast for you, you know, you can do the bit by bit strategy. You can add a new habit every day. You can add another habit every week is what we're proposing here. But if you're finding that still just too fast, uh, maybe you just do one habit uh, a month. Uh, but I just want to encourage you to slow down and, and don't just focus just on the new habit. I, the idea, again, is to build precept upon precept, habit upon habit, and uh, you'll begin to have these best practices will begin to make a massive transformation of your heart, mind, and soul as you discover intimacy with God. So, uh, last week was uh, habit number seven, go on a dialogue prayer walk, and then uh, take a little time to journal with that. And this one, I'm hoping while you were doing that walk, or if you if you're just still doing the walk, maybe this week you begin to look for a space that could become your sacred place outdoors. I'm talking about an outdoor prayer space, an outdoor altar, an outdoor some place outside of your home uh, that you can go to and meet with God on a regular basis. So keep your eyes open. Uh, I've helped other people find places like this. Sometimes it's an empty lot in the, the neighborhood. Sometimes it's a schoolyard. Other times it's a church. Uh, many of you may have a little uh, park in your neighborhood. Uh, and so uh, for me, I got a, a little 12 minute walk and I'm on a, uh, a state park trail. And uh, it's right there in the middle of the woods and I'm there by myself. It's a public trail, but at 5.30 in the morning, it's my sacred place. And uh, I wanna encourage you to find such a place it may be the end of a street. It may be a dead end. I don't know where, but if you'll begin to ask God, he'll help you find. I've had other people who literally do their walk and end up in their backyard, sitting on their back porch. This becomes their sacred place. I'm not giving you permission just to walk outside and to call that your prayer walk, but you can leave the front of your house, do a prayer walk through the neighborhood, and come back to your backyard. A number of people have found sitting on the back porch um, well, uh, during summer, uh, to be the perfect space. Um, so the idea, I call my uh, little prayer space Shiloh. Why Shiloh? Well, in the scriptures, we read in the book of Judges that the tabernacle, which Moses had created and the children of Israel enjoyed throughout the 40 years of wandering through the desert. Well, when they moved into the promised land, that uh, the tabernacle uh, was had a more of a permanent location at Shiloh. So Shiloh is the permanent location for the movable temple, the movable tabernacle. It's kind of a, an oxymoron there, but nonetheless, uh, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so when I go to Shiloh, it becomes at that moment, it's the, the, the place where I meet uh, my body as the tabernacle. Listen, I wanted to take you with you. I'm at uh, a special location. And uh, what I just wanted you to see was that I'm at, a, I've been filming here at Shiloh Ranch. And Shiloh Ranch is a, uh, has a, a prayer room. The Shiloh Ranch has a, uh, this is one of those houses of prayer. And this is a, a, a sacred spot. Uh, I want to encourage you to think about how you, you don't, if you go to my spot on the trail, there's nothing. I have a set of rocks that I use. <laughs> I have a couple of trees that I use, but you can see what's been done here. This is a sacred place that has all kinds of pictures that remind of what to be praying about, inspiration. And so uh, I just want to encourage you to get as creative as you want and uh, take making your sacred place uh, Go ahead and customize it. I anointed mine with oil. I don't own the state park, but I promise you there is a spot on the ground there that has been consecrated to God and dedicated to him. God bless you. And uh, your uh, assignment again, uh, habit eight, is to find uh, a space, create a space, and visit your space on a daily basis. Uh, God bless you.